Good morning grade 12s. Welcome back to our second class on drawing 68. Yesterday we just completed the given two views and I'm using a pen just to make the picture more clear. The blue is not done yet. The front view is completed. Next step is to add the numbering. Now there's a lot of points here. If, um, so I want to make a few suggestions. I'm going to combine numbers and letters like I usually do. I think the bottom I will use letters and on top I will, oh sorry, bottom I will use numbers and on top I will use letters. Let's start numbering it on the top view and then we'll go over to the front view. Okay, so if you're drawing along with me, then I would recommend that we number in the following way. I'm going to put one year two three four five okay now we continue on onto the hexagon six seven eight nine okay ten because there's an inside eleven twelve thirteen okay that's the bottom now let's number the top part and i'll do it with letters a okay then it's b c d e f and g okay now the inside h i j and j what k l m l m o oh, k there we go whoops okay j k there we go just wanna, I'm just checking if, there's, if I'm missing anything else. No, that's all the sides. Ooh, now, here's the test. To take it from there to the top view. Okay, just extend my camera a tiny bit if, I, if possible. Okay, so now I'm just going to one by one take it up. So, one, two, three, Four, okay, but do you see there's a G as well, which is there. Remember, they are on top. Um, five, wait, wait, five, and then B is over there. C is also there, and then we're missing one more. Oh, and six is next to five. Then we've got I, 11, J is next to G, and 12, 10, and then and th this point will have a lot of points. It's 4, 10, 12, and 7. So 4, 10, 12, and 7. Then for the top view, it's G and D, 13, K, 8 and 9, E and F. Ah, so, this drawing really tests if you know how to number, because there's a lot of numbers. Right, next step. Okay, so they want the front view, the sectional top view. Okay, now we have to do the sectional top view. Um, just want to make sure that all my lines are projected downwards, because I'm going to need it now. Um, so... Some of the lines I didn't project, I just made the lines. I just want to check that I have all of them. So this line, check, check. Okay, the rest, there's one more I'm missing. Okay, there we go. Now, very, very slowly, we're going to go through each part and make our uh, marks on the picture. So I'm going to start from M, moving to N. And every time it crosses something, we're going to follow downwards. Okay, so M, and it crosses K first. Okay, only K. So if I take it down, there. All right, let's continue. Okay, so done. Next. Here it crosses a line. Okay, now you have to um, pay close attention. Okay, because remember there's a hole in the middle as well. So it is. Basically, on top, it is, okay, so it's, it's, 
uh, just want to see how we're going to... Okay, so it's G4, DH. I'm looking at this. G4, 10H, 12J, and 7D. Okay, so there, 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 and there. Okay, whew. Next. Okay, this is nothing. This line is represents this part, but it's not cutting through it. So the next part that it cuts through something is this pyramid line called, oh, I forgot to add A. Sorry, guys, I forgot to add A. It's called A, A4. Okay, A4. So I haven't projected it down yet. So A4, let me just get a bigger... This next one is so it's A4. Take it down. Okay, so I'm looking for A4. There we go. A4. Okay, next one. Now it crosses over A3. Take it down again. Follow, 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 follow. There's A3. Next line, it passes through I-11. Oh, so it's this point here. I-11. Uh, let me just tick. There. Okay, now next one. That is A-5. I'm looking for A5. Then it crosses over B5 and C6. So there and there. Which makes sense. So it's going to cut through the entire hexagon. So this, basically this, from the top of this entire pot will just be hatched. That's, that's about it. Then it's A2. And finally, on one itself. Okay, now I'm going to use a black pen to draw the cutting plane. So for the pentagon, it looks like this. Remember, my blue line is technically now used as a construction line. So now I'm going to go over the lines again to show what's left behind. And I'm going to go over the hexagon. just need to hatch it. Uh oh, I made a mistake. Do you see what I did? Yeah, look there. It's in line. But I've just started, but this is wrong. Okay, so don't hatch parallel to a side, but this is not my mistake. I'm gonna live it. I w this is something that will cost me marks. So then hatch this way, but I'm not going to change now because it's in pin. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then also this part here. And there's the top view. Okay, so like I said, even if you can't see the picture, if you follow your numbers, and that's why it's so important to, that you know your numbers, then it's easy. Well, 
easier. Okay, we have done the top view. Now for the left view, and it says show all hidden details. So I'll add hidden detail afterwards where there's no hatching um, as well. So what I'm gonna do next, let me just move this camera a bit. I have to put it here, okay, in this area. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna draw an XY line here. I'm gonna label it X1, Y1. I'm going to make this line a bit longer. And then draw a 45 year so that I can project this uh, measurement upwards. Now we have to now we're gonna redo everything again. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one line up, number it, one line up, number it, just so I can follow what I'm doing. So two and then two up. And I'm gonna stop here since that's two. Now three. Three. Um, there's one. Let's take it up. That's why I like the numbers and letters combination because then I know numbers, it's below, it's on the ground. Four. Now it's four and G, so I'll have to take it up all the way to the top. So four is here and G is over there. Okay, five. Five and B. And B. Now I'm gonna just stop here and first just draw uh, my pentagon. Since remember, it's a left view, so we're looking from this side. So the pentagon is in front of the hexagon, so you'll see the pentagon. Okay, so just want to take A across as well. Now, what I'm going to do is, to, so you can see it, this should be done in light construction lines, but I'm going to draw it in blue uh, so that you can see the picture, because remember, a part of the pentagon is not there anymore. Where is my blue pen? Okay, got it. Okay, looking from this side, one is in front. So I'm gonna start off one and um, A. Forgot to add A, sorry. There's A, okay, one and A. I'm gonna do, try to, to make it, to draw it light as possible. I'll, let's see if I can just zoom in a tiny bit so you can see it. Okay, one. Then it's two. Five and four and three you won't be able to see, so I'm just gonna draw lines for now. Four and three. So there's the there's the pentagon. Uh, oh, the, the pyramid. I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm trying not to make it too dark because I still need to add the cutting plane itself. Okay, nine and F. Don't forget about the inside square. It's um, square as well. Take it up. That is 10 and H. That's I. K, 11 and 13, 12 and J, 
create an E. I think they're actually on the same spot. Six is there, C is there. Okay, and then seven and D. Okay, so a lot of numbers. Now that I have everything there, it's still in construction. Now we can start with our cutting plane. So again, follow the numbers. I'm going to start there. M to N. M goes and hits there at K. So let's make a point there. Next up. It crosses over its G force first, G four. So let me go and look for G and four. There's G and four. Then it goes H ten, H ten there. Then it's uh, J and twelve. Where's J twelve here? And seven D or D seven. Okay, next, next one. Now it goes over A. Four. There. Next one. It goes over a three. Where is number three? Yeah. I eleven. I eleven. I. 11 mm -hmm. I 11 next one that's a 5 a 5 then just barely next to it it's B Five and C five. So B five and where's C? C um, C six. Here we go. C six. Then we have. A two and finally it ends at A one here on the dot.